Martina the head, put her in new braid. Right. Martina the head, give her a new braid. Right. Martina the head, give her a new braid. Right. Martina the head, sling your head down. If she got a chair, get it washed, get it rinsed. Right. Have a little girl talk while you get in your ass yeah. 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 Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Martina the hair back at it again with another video. So in today's video ladies, I'm going to be showing you how I did this glue in with a cap with a little leave out, you know, just to give a little something. And if you're anti glue, you don't like glue, this video is not for you. But if you want to see how I achieve this look, just stay tuned. So basically what I did with my hair was I cornrowed it back just to get my hair out the way and keep it nice and secure under the cap. I use some of this braiding hair right here just to hold it a little bit more tight because my hair will just unravel. So the braiding hair helps. So right here, as you can see, I'm just gonna braid my hair back. Not too tight, not too loose because I am tender headed. I don't like too much tugging and pulling on my hair. So I just braid it back nice and gently, making sure I get all of my hair back. It doesn't have to be neat. No one is going to see any of that back there. So I really don't care how it looks. And a lot of people, they always ask, well, how do you see the back of your hair? I'm actually using two mirrors and using the phone. You can't see it in the video, but I do use that. I'm also using the buy big tree hair oil right here that you can see now this stuff works it's a cbd hair oil and i put it in my hair for the first time and anytime i wear braids my hair itches a lot this prevented my hair from itching and allowed me to keep my braids in and my weave in for a lot longer than usual so i highly recommend that now i'm just going to put some rubber bands on the ends and i'm going to just cut them and basically just tuck it under the cap when I put it down. So this is how it looks with all the rubber bands on my hair. And basically what I'm gonna do now is my secret trick. So I put paper towel down underneath my cap just to make sure that no glue touches my hair. There's gonna be some glue at the top of my hair that it's gonna touch, but I don't really care about that. But for the most part, the back of it, there's going to be no glue touching my hair. So I'll be able to just take this off like a wig. And ladies, I've been doing this since maybe I was a teenager. Since I, you know, glue was popping back then. Now I don't really do it like that. But this was just something I remember I used to do back in the day. So I was like, let me just try this hairstyle again. Just a simple glue-in. Put some paper towel down underneath. And with a little leave out. And it worked for me. So let me just show you how I did this part. I'm putting the paper towel down. Making sure it's covering most of my hair. Making sure it's covering all the back. Okay. Put the um, Then I put the cap down over that just to secure it and now i'm just going to use some bobby pins to bobby pin the back down first just to get that secure because i don't want to sew it because if i sew it down it's going to be hard to take off and i like to itch i will scratch my hair scratch my scalp sometimes especially if i leave it in for a look you know a few days or so i actually left this in for like three weeks but I'm just going to bobby pin it down so I can lift it up when I need to and just have it so that it's easy to take off. I don't need any extra. So I'm just going to do that and have it, you know, secure a little bit to the braids and it works for me. Now, this is the part where it can get a little tricky. All you're basically doing is cutting the cap where you want the leave out at. So I have my leave out on the side. So I'm just going to cut that on the side. As you can see right here, this is what it looks like when you cut it and then you bobby pin it down. Now, the part where there's no cap, there's no paper towel, there is going to be glue on that little section right there, but that's okay. The parts that's braided or in that ponytail, there's going to be no glue right there because that's the part I'm going to straighten and leave out. But for the most part, this is what it looks like. Now I'm using this hair that I got from my local beauty supply store. It's called Empire. And when I tell you this hair curled really nice, it worked really good. And I was actually very impressed. So I used the 16, a 14, and I believe it was an 18 inch. 
And it was all pretty cheap. It was all like under $50 a pack. So that's why I got it. I wanted something cheap and quick. I didn't have to wait for it. So I just picked it up and I figure I'm going to put glue in it anyway. I wouldn't want to put glue on some nice bundles that I would get. So I was like, let me just try some of this hair store hair. I haven't did this in a while. So let me see how this turns out. And it, I loved how the hair was when I was finished with it. So basically what I did was measured it in the back of the part that I'm going to, um, you know, glue down to my hair. And I'm just putting my first track on right now. And this is the very first one. You just apply it on the back. And as you can see in the back, there is no paper towel down in the little section right there. But that's okay. It's only that one little section. It's it's okay. I promise you. <laughs> Glue is not that bad if you don't have it all over your hair. The blow dryer helps with holding the track down and keeping it nice and tight. So I do that after every track. I blow dry it. And right here is already one pack of hair put in my hair already so this is what one pack looks like I still have two more packs to put in and I wanted to make sure that it was nice and thick so that's why I got three and I put them like really close together so it ended up coming out nice and thick and it looked really natural when I was finished with it right here you can see that there is going to be some glue to go out like around the edge part but like I said, I don't mind the glue at all. I actually like the fact that it's simple and easy to do. Very, very simple. Now the part that I'm holding right here, as you can see, those are the parts that I'm leaving out. The hair is nice and flowy. It's beautiful. I'm almost done. Now I just have a little bit more to put in. And I still have my leave out. I'm making sure I didn't put any glue on my leave out so that... I can just take those braids out right there and straighten it because <clears throat> you don't want to have any glue on that part. So just make sure you're being careful because it is kind of hard to get out when you're not when, well, when you don't have any conditioner or oil in it. Now that the tracks are all in my hair and this is what it looks like when the tracks are all in. I'm just going to make sure I blow dry it a little bit more. Make sure that they're nice and tight in there. I'm going to take out these braids and just straighten it now. I did my makeup and it's like now I just have to put the finishing touches on my hair. So now that my tracks are all put in and it's feeling nice and secure, I'm just going to go ahead and tug on it a little bit so that you can see like it's in there. There is no movement of the hair, even though it is bobby pinned down majority in the back too. It's in there. I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. I feel like it's going to be secure for at least two weeks or so. So I'm just going to take out those last little bit of braid so that I can work with that and straighten it. But first, I got to put all of these tracks in a ponytail. Get that out the way first so that I can work on what's out. Now, the leave out part, ladies. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did this to my hair. <laughs> I haven't straightened my hair in so long. I have put heat to it with the blow dryer. But as far as a flat iron, this is the first time I've straightened it in more than a year so I was like, oh my God, I know I'm going to put heat damage on my hair. But like I said, I was trying to be cute and rushing to do something instead of just wearing a wig. I was like, I'm just going to do this really quick. But I should have brought me a wig because I ended up having heat damage. I didn't put any heat protector on my hair. I didn't put anything on my hair because I didn't want the oily or I didn't well I didn't want it to be too oily or too much product because once too much product is on my hair it starts to curl up and just look too messy so the least amount of product the better so I only straightened it and I used a little bit of this um pink hair gloss after but that was it and it was just a couple sprays. I made sure I didn't go OD with it. I didn't use any edge control either. I wanted to make it look as natural as possible and just be pretty and quick and cute. But I definitely should not have a straight in my hair. I should have made sure um, I use a heat protector before I just 
went ahead and straightened it. But yeah, I'm just using a little bit of that pink glosser right now just to blend it in more with the hair. And I'm just straightening it. And over the past couple weeks that I had this in my hair, I was straightening it almost every day or every other day. I was straightening my leave out because I wanted it to be nice and straight. And I also didn't sleep with a scarf any night. <laughs> so my hair was just a mess. But I mean, I don't really care. I do my own hair anyway. So I can do anything I want to it and I'll make it work no matter what. Even with the heat damage, if anything, I'll just cut it off and start all over again. But yeah, now it's all done and it's looking nice and cute. I'm feeling it. The leave out is looking nice. It's not blended a thousand percent, but it's blended good enough. You can see some of my gray hairs up in there too, but hey, I mean, that comes with wisdom, you know? And look at me. Look at that. Look at that. Like, girl, okay. All right, I see you. I see you out here, you know, put a little bit behind the ear. Like, okay, girl, like, you know, my hair is looking nice. It's feeling good. It's soft. It's beautiful. It's no tracks showing. It just looks nice and natural, more different from the wigs that I usually wear. So I'm feeling it. I'm really liking how it's looking. It's nice and flowy. It blends with the hair. It can just move. And hair that moves is everything. You don't want no stiff hair, okay? You want your hair to be able to move. So the least amount of product, the better. A couple sprays of some oil sheen or something is good enough. You don't need much, ladies, okay? You don't want all of that in your hair. So yeah, this is basically the finished look. I'm loving it. I'm loving the way it came out. It curled really nice. I wish I had some clips of me with it curled, but I don't. I'll probably post those on another video or something, but this is it, ladies. And if you got to the end of this video, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. My Instagram name is Martina the Hair. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. I appreciate it so much. We're almost at 400 subscribers. So thank you guys so much and stay blessed. Mwah.